Hello and welcome everyone to our new tutorial where we will see one of the new and killer features of the Cost Calculator Builder plugin, Discounts. Using our plugin you can create almost any sort of discounts that you can imagine. No more words, let's see how it works. Open any ready calculator. We will work with this car wash calculator today. Go ahead and move to the discounts section. As we do not have any discounts yet, let's create the first one. First of all, give a name to your discount to differentiate it among other discounts. Next, here comes the part with promo code. If you create a discount without promo code, it will be applied to all users. But in case, if you create a discount with promo code, only the users with promo code can get the discount. For now, let's see a case without promo code, then we will see the case with promo code. Choose the way that activates this discount. You have three options, in period, on an exact day, and forever. When you choose in period option, the discount will be active only during the period that you specified. Similarly, on an exact day option gives an opportunity to the discount to stay activated during a day, and the forever option will activate it until you delete the discount. You can display the discount in your calculator in two ways, only discount in total and discount with title. Here comes the most important part, condition. The discount will be activated if and only if this condition or conditions are true. There is an availability to add more than one condition to the same discount. First, select the formulas that will discount will be applied for. If you add more than one formula, a discount will be applied to each of them separately based on the condition. Now, set up the condition. It can be triggered when the price is equal to, less than, or greater than a specific amount. Let's give a discount if user makes a purchase over $200. Choose the discount type, fixed amount or some specific percentage of the amount. If I indicate 15%, once user makes a purchase with total cost of $200, he will get $30 discount which is a 15% of the $200. So he will pay $170. Let's save and see the result in a preview. As you see, once our total is greater than $200, we are getting 15% discount. If we add one more condition which gives 20% discount for over $500 purchases, the system will automatically select the condition once the user makes a purchase over $500 instead of a 15% discount. Good job! Now, let's see how promo codes work. We will create a special discount for summer sales. Name the discount and enable the promo code feature. You can let the cost calculator generate a promo code for you or just enter it by yourself. Let's assume I am planning to give discounts only for the first 150 purchases, so I will enter this limit to the designated area. As a period, I will indicate the whole summer. For a condition, let's say I will give 10% discount if the total is greater than zero, so everyone will get this discount regardless of the payment amount. Go ahead and save the discount. This is how it will look to users. More than one promo code and discounts can be applied if the user's case satisfies the conditions of the discount. Promo code can be removed like this. Orders with promo codes will be displayed like this in the orders page. I hope you enjoy a new feature in this video tutorial. Do not forget to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.